Okay, so going to start off with the uh, 2008, uh, 2008 question 6 on paper 1, do you insert ordinary? So the first thing we ask is write down the domain and the range of P. The domain is the X values and the range is the Y values. So the domain is going to be start off with the smallest one, it's going to be 1. This next X value is 2 and then the final X value is 3. Domain is 1, 2 and 3. The range is the y values, the first one is 5, the next one's 8, the one after that is 9, and the one after that is 10. Okay, next question. Graph the function of f, f of x, or f, this is the y, f of x is y, or also known as f bracket x, is equal to x plus 2x minus x squared in the domain minus 1, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 3, where x is an element of r. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go up in ones. We're going to find out what f of minus 1 is. We're going to find out what f of 0 is. And we're going to go all the way up to 3. So we're going to go f of 1, f of 2, f of 3. And also what we got to do is just replace x with whatever number is in the f bracket. So we're going to get 3 plus 2 times minus 1 minus minus one squared and that's going to be equal to that's going to be equal to zero the next one is going to be three plus two times zero minus zero squared put that into your calculator and when you put it into your calculator you get three the next one is going to be three plus two times one minus one squared and that is going to get you four the next one is 3 plus 2 times 2 minus 2 squared. That's going to also get us 3. And finally, the next one is 3 plus 2 times 3 minus 3 squared. And what that's going to get me is 0. Okay? Now, the next thing to do is write down all the points. Okay? So the first point is going to be minus 1, 0. The point after that is going to be 0, 3. The point after that is going to be 1, 4. Because it's whatever number comes in here followed by the answer. 1, 4. Next one here is 2, 3. And the next one after here is 3, 0. Okay. So next thing we got to do is we got to draw this graph. Draw the graph. So we've done the table. Now it's important that we draw the graph. So to draw the graph, all that we got to do... Draw this. I'm going to copy and paste this over. Next page. And this is our graph here. I'm going to paste. And as you see, I have all five points here, exactly where I need them. Now, when drawing the graph, we're just going to do two straight lines starting off. So we're just going to have our x and y axis. This is our x axis here. And our y axis can be going this way here. Now, you can see that there's lots of different points, so I suggest that we make every two worth like uh, one, okay? So we go, this is the x-axis, one. Now remember, make sure the spaces are equal. So every two squares is worth one, three, four. This is the x-axis, minus one, minus two, minus three. And this is the x values, okay? Next thing we're going to do is the y values, okay? And the y values are going to be, once again, one, 2, 3, 4, and we're also going to have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So let's graph this out. Minus 1, 0 being the first one goes here. 0, 3 being the next one goes here. 1, 4 located here. 2, 3, 2 across, 3 up. And three zero. So we also we got to do here. Just link them up. Okay. Try and take a nice round. Okay. And now we can see that we're not quite happy with the this part here, right? So we're straight off a little. So we're going to give this another go. Okay. Steady hand is key in this these type of questions. Okay. And then we get down like so. Okay. So there we are. Now. What we're asked next is, we're asked, 
draw an axis of symmetry on the graph. And now, axis of symmetry basically means you're cutting the graph in half, okay? So to get an axis of symmetry, all we're going to do is just start at where the peak is and split it in half. So you can see that the axis of symmetry occurs through x equals 1, and this cuts the graph thoroughly in half, okay? So this here is the axis of symmetry, okay? Axis of, whoop, excuse me. This is the axis of symmetry. Okay. The next question we got to do is uh, use the graphs you've drawn to estimate the value. Now remember, this is f of x. So find the value of f of x when x equals 2.5. So this means draw a line going from x equals 2.5 and see what y value is. f of x is the y value, okay? So all we got to do is use our graph. So we use our graph here. And we go to x equals 2.5 x equals 2.5 we draw we get we get our line here and we'll use a we'll use a uh, what color line will we use we will use a uh, orange line okay now we go up from 2.5 it hits around here draw it all the way in so this means that when x is 2.5 it runs up hits the line goes across and that means that y is around 1.5 okay Now to check your answer, what you could do is you could just replace x with 2.5, just to make sure in the ball range. So 3 plus 2 times 2.5 minus 2.5 squared. Okay, and you can just check your answer to see if you're roughly in the right in the right area. Okay, so 3 3 plus 5 minus 2.5 squared. So the answer is roughly 1.75, okay? So just be careful of any uh, of any errors, okay? So we might have, could have went slightly higher. So maybe around 1.6 would have been a better answer. We didn't quite hit the green part, okay? So I'd say 1.6 is a better answer than 1.5. Just make sure drawing is nice and accurate, okay? Now, okay, so in this video we have uh, f of 3 okay so f of x is 4 multiplied by x minus 5 f of 3 basically means replace x with 3 so you're going to get 4 times 3 minus 5 that in turn is 12 minus 5 because you multiply the 4 by 3 and you get the answer is 7 the next one is 4 multiplied by minus 2 minus 5 that gives you minus 8 minus 5 and that in turn equals minus 13 Okay, the next question, right? Once again, the start is minus 1 and the end is, is 3. The function is f of x or y equals x squared minus 2x minus 1. Or basically f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to get f of minus 1, f of 0, f of 1, f of 2, f 3, and we're going to put them all in and into the equation and see what points we get out. Okay, so the first one is x squared, so it's going to be minus 1 squared, minus 2 times minus 1, minus 1, and that equals 2. Okay, the next one is going to be 0 squared, minus 2 times 0, minus 1, and that will get us minus 1. The next one is 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 1 and that will get us 2. The next one after that so that will get this one here will get us minus 2. Okay. The one after that will get us we're going for 2 minus 1 so 2 squared minus 2 times 2 minus 1 and that will get us minus 1 and then finally f of 3 is going to be 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 1 put all that into your calculator and what you're going to get is what we're going to get is 3 sorry 
So we're going to get two. So three, two. Now, I'm doing these, okay. We're just going to make our points now. Each point. Now, we're going to denote the x values are in blue, okay. So these are the x values here. Because look at the start of the question, okay. The start of the question says these are the x values. This is the range of the x values. X is the domain, okay. So what we have is 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1, 2. Okay, red is the y values. It's going to be 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1. Excuse me a sec. So the blue values are minus one, zero, one, two, and three. Well, the red values are two minus one minus two minus one and two. They're the y values, okay? So these guys here are the y values, and the blue ones here are the x values, okay? So these guys are the x values. Now, how do we have that done? Okay, so we're going to graph this. So we're just going to graph, take these points down on the next page, okay? And once we get these points down, we can now graph, because we're asked to draw the diagram, okay? So we want to draw this diagram. Okay, go to the next page, and we can paste. Now, we'll do just write them out again, okay? So these, the numbers were, numbers were 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, and two and then the blue ones or the x values was minus one zero one two and three okay three two at the end now let's draw these out so we have two values So we have here is the y-axis followed by the x-axis. Now, the x-axis are the blue numbers. Okay, so what we said was it starts on minus one, minus one, one, two, three, and four. And the red one is the x values one, two, three, minus one, minus two minus 3. Now what's going to happen next is we're just going to draw these, plot the points, minus 1, minus 1 and 2 is up here. Okay, we'll do this in green, minus 1 and 2 is up here. The next one is 0 minus 1, which is down here. The next one is 1 minus 2, which is down here. The next one is 2 minus 1, which is here. And then finally we have 3, 2, which is here. Then we can just link them all up and to draw it all in one. Now, you can see there's a slight error there in the drawing. We just got to keep it nice and steady. Nice and steady. And then loop around and make sure that you go through all the points. Okay, and there we go. Now, next part of this is going to be Remember, this is the y-axis, and the blue one here is the x-axis, okay? And what we have next is we go, use your graph to estimate the values for x for which the graph, i.e. the uh, 
for which the green barrier or the green graph is zero. So we have to set the for which the y value of the green line is zero. Okay. So we go up to the top and we'll have a look and we go, oh wait a second. The green barrier is zero at two points. Remember this is the y value. So it's here and here. Okay. So what we're gonna get So what we're going to get is it's going to be equal to zero. Y equals zero when X equals the first one's going to be minus 0.5 or minus point point five roughly minus point five and X equals look up here about 2.4 plus 2.4. Now, the next question says, find the value of y, try to find the y value of the curve when x equals 1.5. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to x, okay, x equals 1.5, here it is here. We're going to draw a line. Now, when you're doing this, make sure it's exactly on the line. x equals 1.55 is around here, hits the green barrier and goes across. And I would say that is at around 1.75, okay? So about 1.75 minus 1.75 on the y-axis, okay? So the y-value is going to be minus 1.75. So the y-value equals minus 1.75. Okay, next question. Okay, so the next question is, once again, we're going to replace an f of x equals 3 multiplied by whatever x is minus 1. So this one means that x is 5, so it's going to be 3 multiplied by 5 minus 1, which will get us 14. The next one is going to be 3 multiplied by minus 4 minus 1, which will get us minus 13. Okay, so that's the answer there. Next one. Draw a graph of the function f of x or y equals f of x, which in turn is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 1. Remember that minus 1 is the start and 4 is the finish. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw out start to finish. We're going to go through the mod. So we're going to go for our f of minus 1 f of 0, f of 1, f of 2, f of 3, and f of 4. Now, what we got to do is find out what each one is equal to. So, some people are going to be using the Casio calculators to check their answers on this, which is grand, you know. But you got to show the table to achieve full marks in the test. You got to show your workings and show where the where your table comes from. Okay. So what we're going to do here? Just going to put down our points now. Okay. So what we're going to do is going to replace x with minus one. So minus one squared minus three times minus one minus one. Put all that into your calculator. And what you'll get is 3, the next one is 0 squared, minus 3 times 0, minus 1. Put all that into your calculator and you're going to get minus 1. The next one, which is f of 1, we're going to get 1 squared, minus 3 times 1, minus 1. And the answer to that will be minus 3. The next one after that is going to be 2 squared. Minus 3 times 2 minus 1. Put all that into your calculator. And what we get is minus 3 again. Okay. The next one is F3, which you put in 3. You get 3 squared. Minus 3 times 3 minus 1. And what we get there is minus 1. And finally, the last one is going to be uh, F of 4, which is 4 squared. Minus 3 times 4 minus 1. What we got there is 1. Alright, so when we do these, the blue points are the x values, okay? 
So we're just going to write them out over to the side here. Okay. So what we're going to get is minus 1. We have 0. We have 1, 2, 3, and we have 4. Now the red values are the y values. Okay. And the y values look like so. Now, the last value, f of 4, was actually was actually 3, okay, so let's dub double check your findings, okay, so what we get is minus 1, 3, 0, minus 1, 1, minus 3, 2, minus 3, 3, minus 1, and 4, 3, close them all up, so what we're going to have next, is we're just going to get all these, page here. Now, we seem to leave our uh, y values behind, but we'll just fill them in again. Our y values are minus 3. So our y values are plus 3, minus 1, minus 3, minus 3, minus one and three. So now we're going to draw our axis again. So we're just going to draw a line. We have to draw the diagram. So one goes over, this one goes to the right. So what we can do next is just uh, color code. So the x axis is going to, the x axis is going to be represented by the blue numbers. Okay, so the blue numbers are going to be minus one, zero, one, two, three, and four. The red numbers, which is the y-axis is going to be represented by the red colors, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Once again, ensuring that there's even spaces between all the numbers, okay? Next, we're going to draw it. So what we're going to get is minus 1 plus 3 is up here. Next one is going to be 0 minus 1, which is down here. Next one is 1 minus 3, 1 on blue, minus 3 on red. Next one is 2 minus 3. And then the next one is 3 minus 1, which is around here. Next one is 4, 3, which is here. Okay, so we're just going to graph this now. So link all the lines together. Okay, make sure that goes to every point. Go down in between the two lower points. Don't draw directly across. And there we go. We have a graph there, okay? Now just be careful not to wobble too much. Like the improvement here would be just to draw it up like that. Just be careful not to not to wobble too much when you're drawing it, okay? Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to look at the... That is our graph drawn. And that is the end of part one, because also what I wanted from us, uh, part B, I also wanted us to do is draw the function, and we just did, okay? So next part. Given that, that y equals x plus 2, complete the table below. Remember, y equals the x value plus 2. So the first one is minus 1 plus 2. The second one is 0 plus 2. The third one is 1 plus 2. And the fourth one is 2 plus 2. So what we're going to get is 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the points that we're looking for here are going to be minus 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 3, and 2, 4. So we're just going to draw these on this graph here, okay? So what we're going to get first, minus 1, 1 is located here. 0, 2 is located here, 1, 3 is located here, and 2, 4 is located here. Okay, join all the dots together in a straight line. Now, 
that is the answer to that part and you're asked to find use the graphs to find the intersection write down the coordinates coordinates means an x and a y value of the intersection of the two lines where did the two lines intersect each other okay it's basically what it's looking for the point of intersection so we can see here that the point of intersection is this green part here and this is the point one three so the answer for that is going to be one and three okay Okay, next one, 6a, write out the domain and range of P. So the domain, once again, remains the X values and the range means the Y values. So let's first of all write down the X values. Remember, the X values are the values that come first. So the X values are going to be 1, 4, 5, and 7. The Y values, 3, 6, 8, and 9. Okay, now, next part, of this, uh, next part of this is draw the graph of the function, okay? So once again, y equals f of x, the y values of the graph equals x of x, and that's going to be 2 plus 3x minus x squared. Now, what we got to do first and foremost is basically find out what is, uh, we got to find out the start, the start off value, okay? So the starting off value and the final value, okay? So Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off the starting off value is the minus one. So that means f of minus one is the start and f of four is the end. Okay, so we go f of one, minus one, f of zero f of 1, f of 2, f of 3, and finally f of 4. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to replace x with minus 1, right? So it's going to be 2 plus 3 times minus 1 minus minus 1 squared. That equals minus 2. The next one's going to be 2 plus 3 times 0 minus 0 squared and what that's going to get us is 2. The next one's going to be 2 plus 3 times 1 minus 1 squared. Put that into the calculator and what we get is 4. Next one 2 plus 3 times 2 minus 2 squared and what that will equal is 4 as well. Finally, the last one, tr 3. So we get 2 plus 3 times 3 minus 3 squared. And what that will get us is also going to be 2. And finally, 2 plus 3 times 4 minus 4 squared. And what we get here is minus 2. Now, what we got to do is got to write down all the points that we need, okay? So the blue values are the x values. Okay, so these are all the x values. So what we can do is minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the red values are the y values. Okay, these are the values we get at the end. So it's going to be minus 2, 2, 4, 4. 2 and minus 2. Close them up. Okay. Okay, now we're going to, have to draw this, okay, because we're asked to draw it, draw out the function. So just put it in here. Here's all our points. And when we put all our points in here, we're just going to try and draw it out now, okay? So what we're going to get, we're going to draw out the graph like so. And what we should get is this. Minus 1, 1, 2, 3, 
for. Excuse me a sec. I forgot to put that, these in blue. These are the x values. Remember the x axis minus 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are the x values. And now we're on the y values, which are the red ones. And what we're going to get is 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Okay, so we're going to try and draw this. And we'll do this in green. So the first point is minus 1, minus 2, which is this one here. The second one is 0, 2, which is up here. Third one is 1, 4, which is up here. Next one is 2, 4, over here. 3, 2, which is here. And then 4, minus 2, which is here. Now we're going to draw them up together. It hits. Try and keep a steady hand when here doing this. Okay, comes down through both points, and we're done. Okay, so this is our graph here. Okay, now next thing we gotta do is a line. Okay, and what the line wants is it says, given that the line y equals x plus one, complete the following table. So y equals x plus one. So since x is the first value of, of uh, since 0 is the first value of x, y equals 0 plus 1, which is equal to 1. y equals, next value is 1 plus 1, that equals 2. Next value after that is y equals 2 plus 1, that equals 3. And the one after that is y equals 3 plus 1, and that should equal 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the points we should have here. Are going to be zero one, zero one, one two, two three, and three four. These are the ones we got to draw. We go down to the graph on the grid below the graph. Graph this line. Use your answers from part one and draw the graph on the same grid. So we just got to draw the points we just found out. Okay. So these points here. We're going to draw them out. Okay, and we'll see what we get. Now, first one. We're going to draw 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1. Locate it down here. We'll do this in blue. Next one. Sorry, 0, 1. Not 0 minus 1, 0, 1. So, just do that. 0, 1 is located here. 1, 2 is located here. 2, 3. 2 on the x-axis, 3 on the y-axis located here, and 3, 4 is located up here. Join the dots together. And there you go. You can see your point of intersection is going to be the point 2, 1, or sorry, 1, 2, excuse me. 1 along x, 2 along y, 1, 2. So when we go down, what we see is Use the graphs to write down the coordinates of the point of intersection between the two lines, okay? So the point of inter intersection between the two lines is the point 1, 2. Okay. Okay, the next uh, video is once again f of x equals 2 multiplied by x minus 1. So the first one we got to do is replace x with 4 because x is 4. So 2 times 4 minus 1 is 8 minus 1. This equals 7. The next one's going to be 2 multiplied by minus 5, minus 1. What we got there is minus 10, minus 1. This equals minus 11. Okay. Next diagram here is draw the graph of this function. Okay. So this basically means y equals f of x. This term equals 1 plus 4x minus x squared. Once again, locate the start and the finish. The start's at minus 1, and the end is at 5. Okay? So this means start off with f of minus 1, f of 0, f of 1, do f of 2, do f of 3, f of 4, and finally f of 5. Okay. Now, remember to replace x with whatever number is there. 
So the first one's going to be 1 multiplied by 4 times minus 1, minus minus 1 squared. Next one's going to be 1 plus 4 times 0, minus 0 squared. Because 1 plus 4 times 1, minus 1 squared. Next one after that is going to be 1 plus 4 times 2, minus 2 squared. The one after that is going to be 1 plus 4 times 3 minus 3 squared. The one after that is going to be number 4, which is going to be 1 plus 4 times 4 minus 4 squared. And finally, the last one is going to be 1 plus 4 times 5 minus 5 squared. Okay. Now. I'm going to put all these into the calculator and figure out their values. Okay, so just insert each one into the calculator individually, and what you'll get is minus 4 for the first one, 1 for the second one, 4 for the third one, and you get 5 for the fourth one, 4 for the fifth one, 1 for this one, and minus 4. Okay. Please make note of the x values. The x values are all in here. Okay. And the y values are located in here. So what we do is we're going to write down all the points we have to the left. So what we're going to get is minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we're going to use minus 1, minus 4 is the first one. 1, 0, 1, 1, 4, 1, 5, 3, 4, 4, 1, 5 minus 4. Okay, and what we're going to get next is we're just going to highlight all these and now we're going to draw them. Okay, so it's very important that we uh, we have to draw this graph. Okay, so if we look at the question, it's asking us to draw this graph. Okay, so we go to the next page, we paste our our points okay and now we get drawn so when we get drawn this is going to be uh we're going to get drawn here so what we can do is this we can say that it's going to be the, the blue ones are going to be uh the blue ones are going to be the x values and the red ones will be the y values okay so minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, x values, the y values, okay, being minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, go down here, minus 4, and then we have up here, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, and up at the very top, we're just actually going to have to uh, we're going to have to copy and drag all this over because I didn't actually leave myself enough space for, for this uh, graph here. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is drag the full graph downwards. Okay, and extend it. Okay. Now we're gonna have to bring we're gonna have to just quickly do a rejig of the graph just for one second because I didn't give myself enough space. Okay. So we'll try this again. Always make sure you have enough space before you begin the question. Okay, that's why sometimes we tend to use pencil on these ones. Okay, and now we should have more or less enough enough uh, space here to get this one done. Okay, let's try this again. Now the blue ones, the x value minus one, one, two, three, four, and five. The red values, 1, 2, 
three, four, five, minus one, minus two, minus three, scroll down, minus four, minus five. Now finally just start drawing them in green now, green, we go for here. Minus one, minus four, it's located down, down here. Zero, one, located up here. One, four, located here. Two, five, located at the top. Three, four, it's located here. Four, one, located here. And finally, five minus four is located here. Okay, so we're just gonna draw these lines up together. Okay, so what we're gonna do just gonna try and connect them together. Okay, second time lucky or third time lucky. Okay, keep going up. Now it's gotta be one steady line. Okay, so at the moment I've just made the, the lines are a bit too flat. So I'm actually going to start from the top this time. Okay. So just come down like this. So it might be a bit easier. Then go all the way down and then come in like this. This time it's going just gonna come down. Seem to be unlucky with that one at the moment. There we go. Goes down like this and then we can bring it all the way up. And there's our line there. Now you can see I'm missing this point here, so I had to do a quick adjustment here and missing this point can't be missing a point by that much okay so that's not really on so we go back to the green here our point is one four so we've just got to make sure we actually get through the points right it's important that you go through the points okay so there's our graph there now in our graph question it asks us to draw an axis of symmetry the axis of symmetry goes directly down the middle so when we have an axis of symmetry what we can do is we can just draw it here there it is there, cutting the graph in half, okay, nice axis of symmetry right down the middle, okay. Now, next one, after the axis of symmetry is done, uh, draw a graph in 6 speed, find the value, find the value of y, this is the value of y, fx means y, find the y value of the curve when x equals 3.5. So find the value where x is 3.5 and then and then tell me where the y value is. That's basically what it's asking us to do. So we're going to look at x equals 3.5 on the graph. Okay, so we'll get a line here. We get this one here. Okay, x equals 3.5 is here. We draw directly up. Then once it hits the green line, we go directly across. And it's roughly going to be 2.9. It's just under 3. So the answer I'll go for is x equals 2. Point, y equals 2.9. Okay, so y equals 2.9. Okay, because that we can see that it hits in between. We can see that it hits in just underneath the tree, okay? So that means I go for 2.9. Okay. Okay, so next we're going to be going on to, once again, another, another uh, question, uh, the 2005 uh, graph question okay so f of 3 means 5 multiplied by 3 take away 6 which is going to be 15 minus 6 and that's going to get us 9 next one's going to be f of 2 which is 5 multiplied by minus 2 minus 6 that's going to get us minus 10 minus 6 which is minus 16 okay next one we got to find out the start and the finish here. So the start is minus 3. Start and the finish is 2. So what we have to do is we have to graph this function. And we're using this equation here. Or basically y equals x squared plus x minus 3. Or it can also be written as f of x equals x squared plus x minus 3. Now... What we're going to do, we're going to use the f of x version, and we're just going to do this. We're going to start off at minus 3, f of minus 3, f of minus 2, f of minus 1. Then we're going to go down into f of 0, f of 1, f of 2. Okay, 
and that's as far as we gotta go. Now we gotta replace all x's with minus three, so minus three squared plus minus three minus three. The next one's gonna be minus two squared, replace x with minus two. Minus two minus three, the next one is minus one. Minus one squared plus minus one minus three. The one after that is gonna be zero squared plus zero minus three. The one after that is gonna be one squared plus one minus three. And the one after that is gonna be two. So it's gonna be two squared plus two minus three. Gonna put them all into the calculator. When I put them all into the calculator, we can find out each individual value, right? So the first one's gonna be three, the second one's gonna be minus one. So I like to do these in red, so three minus one. Next one is gonna be minus three. Third one, fourth one's gonna be minus three, zero minus three, one gives you minus one, and two gives you three. Okay, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to highlight the x values. The x values are these ones here in the boxes. And the y values are going to be the ones in the red. Okay, so we're going to write down our points and draw out this graph. Okay, so our points are going to be minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. Then we have our red values, which are going to be 3, minus one, minus three, minus three, minus one and three. Close them out. And just going to highlight all these points and now we're going to graph them, okay? So you're going to copy, bring it over, paste, okay? So what we're going to get next is the following. We're going to draw our graph go one all the way up here, it's just a normal one, no need for the arrow to be there, second one across here, and what we're going to get is minus one, minus two, minus three, we're going to get plus one, plus two, plus three, and these are the x values. Now we gotta get the y values, okay? The y values are gonna be one, two, three, four. These are the y values, minus one, minus two, minus three, and we go for minus four. Let's start drawing out the points. The first one is minus three blue, and a red three, which is up here. Next one's minus two, minus one, which is down here. The next one is minus two minus one, which is down here. Next one is zero minus three, which is down here. The next one after that is one minus one, which is down. One minus one. So, sorry, zero minus three, minus one minus three. Excuse me, just made a quick error on this one here. I knew the graph didn't quite look right. It's minus one minus three, which is down here. Then it's zero minus one and three. So two, three is going to be up here. So now we can see the symmetry in the graph. Okay, so we just draw a line going directly down, starting the curve, goes through the green point, comes back up, through all the green points. And there we go. So we have a Y curve there, okay? Now, our next question is asking us, find the values for x for which, y, for which y equals zero. So, find out where the graph hits the x-axis. Okay, that's what it's asking us to do. So let's look at it. Okay, this one here is probably about minus 2.3, because it's here. And this one here is about 1.4. So x equals 1.4 and minus 2.3. Now, next one. Find the value of y, find the y value of the graph when x equals a half. Go back to your graph, look for x equals a half. Okay, so let's find out where x equals a half. x equals a half around here. 
draw a line until it hits the until it hits the green curve, hits the green curve around here, draw it all the way across, and I'd say y equals minus two. Okay, so when x equals a half, y equals minus two. So we want to say here is y equals minus two. Okay. And that is the end of this uh, 2005 paper. Okay, is the video completed?